Graham, great to talk to you. Give us an idea from a, a goalkeeper's perspective how the last couple of weeks have been. Uh, probably, as I said, they're, we're in kind of uncharted territory going into kind of six and seven weeks now. I think the boys have a kind of a rough grasp of for previous seasons having a a, a close season and a three or four week pre-season. But now we're kind of beyond that. It's just trying to keep them engaged and keep them professional. But in, in fairness, the goalkeepers have done that. They've they've done everything we've asked them to do and more. Uh, in terms of, the, we've been asked them to do certain types of sessions, so intensive sessions, extensive sessions, match day sessions, which is three that the players normally do. They've done that. Uh, I've got the sports science team to add in a goalkeeping session as well, because uh, I just I like to be like that, <laughs> uh, just to keep them on their toes, but more kind of specific goalkeeping movements and stuff rather than just thinking that they're running all the time, because I've got to remember as well that, that they're still goalkeepers and when they get the opportunity, can they handle the ball and do certain movements that, that are going to keep them ticking over for ultimately when we come back, whenever that's going to be. When you've got the likes of an Alan McGregor as the first-team goalkeeper who comes through the academy, Robbie McCrory's pushing towards the first team, had a great spell at Livingston, even a Liam Kelly, who was the academy goalkeeper, has now moved on. Can you use these guys in the fact that they're going on to have good first-team professional careers as role models when you're talking to your younger goalkeepers? Yeah, absolutely. And that's that's something we intend to do in terms of uh, we're getting uh, hopefully going to get Alan to do a, a master class in terms of the goalkeepers and and because a lot of, a lot of the younger goalkeepers only see the finished article, they only see the three o'clock on a Saturday. But it's to even the even the the young professionals as well. It's about getting them an opportunity to sit down with Alan and ask him anything he wants. He's quite an op- an open and honest guy and say that yeah, here's what you see, but here's all the stuff that goes on in the background. I mean, if he's the first person in the building, the last person out. If he's all the all the gym work that's required, all the preparation, all the all the recovery, all these things that are required to to, to play at the level that he's played at for so long.